Being an entrepreneur is a lifestyle. You make a lot, a ton of money, but you're going to have some broke days. It is all worth it in the end. <laughs> Today I want to talk about being an entrepreneur. This sounds very good, but trust me, it's a lot of work. You have to be consistent. You have to fight depression. You have to know how to make it do whatever you have. When opening a business, don't try to start so big. Start small. I've had the honor to be interviewed by the Bahamas National News Station, and I was so excited. And I have the video, so I will show you guys it in the next clip. Twenty-one-year-old Renishka Cartwright has been in the braiding industry for two years. She says braiding was always her passion from she was a child. I would braid my doll's hair. I would put my doll's hair in ponytail. I just found anything to do with the hair because I loved hair designing. I always enjoyed braiding when I was younger, but I did not take it serious until I got into the real world and working for someone else was not fun. Well, she left her job to focus on her talent, but she says it was no easy decision and she was very nervous. But before I left, I got my mother's consent whether I should leave because I didn't want to leave her as the only person working. And she was telling me that maybe you should stick it out because at least that's a set. At least you know you're going to make something at the end of the week. So leaving that job to become an entrepreneur, braiding was a real challenge and it was a brave move. Renishka says it was hard going into the industry, which is very competitive. She says she started off with a few clients and that number has grown tremendously, noting that sometimes she has clients from 9 a.m. until 4 a.m. on a daily basis. The hairstylist says she also travels often to showcase her talent and has a website with videos that displays her work. I've done events in California, Vegas, Nevada, Atlanta, Georgia, Orlando, Florida, Memphis, Tennessee. I expose my talent by traveling. Using social media as my platform, artists and companies have reached out to me to become part of events. But home is where her heart is. She says come next month, she will be going into all of the government high schools on Grand Bahama to share her talent and knowledge with the young people. When I was in high school, Cosmetology was not an option for me because most persons look at it as an easy pass or it's not a good business to go into. So right now I want to go into the schools, teach my technique. You don't have to rely on people. When I was in high school, I found so many different ways to try and make money. I would sell cheesecake cupcake at school. I started bleaching jeans, customizing jeans. I did so many things in high school for money. Being an entrepreneur, you cannot limit yourself to your resources of income. You cannot limit yourself. You have to do so many different things. Do not put yourself in a box. Do not put yourself in a box. You have so many different ways to promote your brand. You have Facebook, you have Instagram, you have Snapchat, you have Twitter. Have you ever sat down and look at the things that go viral? There are so many different things that go viral. Why aren't you going viral? You need to post. You need to get yourself out there. Don't just sit on your phone, on your laptop, on your tablet. Just searching on the internet. Get out there. You will. See that there are persons, sorry that I'm getting loud, I'm just getting so excited because I'm trying to share what I know, what has helped me. You have to put yourself out there even, and I struggle with this a lot because as a hairstylist, I don't like to post as much because after you work, you're so tired and you just want to lay down. And sometimes you may get lazy and be like, well, they know the quality of my work, so I don't have to post it. That's not true because every day there is someone who is going online 
there's someone who is trying Facebook, there's someone who's trying Instagram, you know, so you have to keep posting, posting, posting. Did you know that your post can be boosted on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook? You don't even have to pay a famous person to promote your brand. You can promote your brand right on your social media platform. Maybe you're wondering, how does she get to work with these influential persons? I want to work with famous persons. How do you get their attention? You must post. You have to post your work. You have to get yourself out there. Nobody can put you out there better than you can put yourself out there. Nobody can do it. You have to know your work. And when you know your work, then you can set a price and you can build your brand day after day. Now, how did I get to work with these famous persons? Posting. One thing that you can do that I've done and was successful in doing, reach out to persons, asking them, will they allow you to provide them with your service? They may not be powerful influencers. You may admire their character. And working with someone who is known for a good character is just as good as someone who is powerful and very influential. Because someone may look at you and say, while well, she actually works with her, you got to be good. Your work has to be good. You have to have good quality because this person worked with you. So who you work with can boost your business tremendously. Just list a few. I've worked with Corey Rayvon. She's beautiful. Her energy is very nice. She's not a drama person. Very humble and very easy to work with. Very understanding as well. She's very humble. To say that again, she's very humble. She fits my brand sex so well because you wouldn't see her fighting or doing any of those stuff. And I'm so honored to work with her. Secondly, I've worked with Ashley Ortega. She's very warm, welcoming. She's the exact same on her videos. Happy, laughing, smiling, giving entertainment, very entertaining and welcoming. I've worked with Bo Bichette. He is extremely humble. Oh my gosh, I don't, oh my gosh, I don't know if I've met anyone as humble as he is. This young man is extremely humble and he is strong in his faith. When you are trying to work with persons to build your brand and your business, honesty is everything. Do you go on a date with someone and feel as if they're lying to you and say, this is the person I want to be with? No, you don't. You will go back to your friends and your family and you will be like, oh, He's sketchy, she's sketchy. I just feel that there's a vibe about this person that I cannot take. It's the same exact thing in business. What vibe do you bring? What atmosphere do you bring along with yourself? Nobody wants negative energy. Have your game ready. Be on time. Although you want to work with them and you want to build a relationship with them, remember at all times, this is business. This is a client. They can boost your business. They can help build your brand or they can help destroy your brand. I've worked with so many amazing persons. When working with someone, whether powerful or whether local to your community, get to know them as an individual. Do not force yourself on them. Be yourself. Ask questions that are appropriate only. Do not get too personal into their business because that can be very offensive to them and you can offend someone that you want to represent your brand. When you reach out to persons, make your intentions as clear as they. Say who you are, your name, your age. A contact number is very important. What do you do? how long you've been doing it, what is the purpose in you reaching out to them, and what can they expect from it, and what do you expect of them. Not everybody that you reach out to is going to do something for free. 
Just because they're fixing their hair, styling their hair, does not mean they're gonna do it for free. Being an entrepreneur is so hard. It's extremely hard. Listen, when I tell you it's hard, it's hard. You're gonna cry many days. You're gonna have many sleepless nights. Oh, and the main thing, being an entrepreneur is a lifestyle. You make a lot, a ton of money, but you're gonna have some broke days where you're gonna have to try to make your food stretch. However you stretch it, you're gonna miss breakfast some days, you may miss dinner some days, but it is all worth it in the end. And whether you receive your return in finances and money, good. If you receive a return in building your platform, good, awesome. But do not stop going. Put your investments in several places, many places even, because you never know what kind of bad luck you will have in this world. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 16 through 18. In the desert, he gave you manna to eat, food that your ancestors had never eaten, he sent hardships on you to test you so that in the end he could bless you with good things. So then you must never forget, never think that you have made yourselves wealthy by your own power and strength. Remember that it is the Lord your God who gives you the power to become rich. He does this because he is still faithful to the covenant that he made with your ancestors. God wants us to be wealthy. He created wealth. He gave us the ability to obtain wealth. Everything comes from God, but when you forsake God and forget God, like he did to King Nebuchadnezzar, he takes everything away. So be humble. Be humble when you are an entrepreneur because what's given can be taken away in a split second because why? You don't know what bad luck you may have in the future. If you grow a farm in your yard, don't just plant mango seed, plant apple, plant strawberry, cantaloupe, watermelon, cane, orange, plant all of these things because there are different seasons and you never know when you may be prosperous and when you will get the return that you have invested. So invest in several places be yourself use the technology that is given to you be true to who you are be true to who you are there is no one like you no one can write like you no one can think like you be yourself because persons are attracted to character character brings hope and you will have a successful career put god first and everything else will be added unto you.